Well, we'll start with the Blaze Saddlebag review out here on the bike. Uh, I've got other stuff on the bike that's not related to these bags, like this rack isn't, and this support beam isn't. The only bracket you get with these saddlebags is this black one here, and this plastic piece, and this tube. Uh, if we look at the other side, you can see here, um, if you ever drive this without the bags on and you get dirt down in here, you're gonna have to flush it out, which there is, if I can get it to focus. There is a hole down in the bottom where you can flush stuff out, but if you get rocks and stuff in there, you gotta get it out. It's gotta be pretty clean to actually slide these brackets in there. And then if you ride and you ride in the dirt at all and dirt gets in there, it just makes it harder to remove. Uh, same thing with these plastic clips. If you get any dirt or dust in there, it makes them more difficult to use. <clears throat> uh, so far the, the right side isn't cracked very bad, but this left side is, it, well, it's, it's broken. So, you know, this will just slide right out. Um, that's the other thing. Even when these are in good shape, it's hard to get that out without sliding this out of it. But I'll try and pull this one out and I can show you how, how badly it's broken. So I had to resort to using a screwdriver and a hammer to bump this one out. But, uh, and this is not unusual for these things because all that side load, all that's doing is cranking on these things and breaking them. So if you put any considerable weight in these at all, it's going to break those. Uh, if you fall down at all, it's going to break these things. This is actually my, this will be my third set of these brackets. The first set I got on warranty because they broke before I had fallen down on the bike at all. This one's broken this bad because of having the tool carrier on this side and then I fell down on this side once. But they're obviously a weak component. Um, you can see it cracked all the way up through here. But yeah, it's just the... The side loads of those bags going in there this really needs to have something around the back to keep them spread out like a bracket to your license plate or anything really would help um, now one thing about my luggage rack that damaged the bags if i didn't have this luggage rack and i didn't have the factory carry handles um, probably would have been fine but this bolt rubbed a hole into it so i took the regular allen head bolt off and i put these button heads on but that one that one was a hundred percent my fault these things breaking is because they're cheap so when we go to reinstall these if you just got a bottle with a nozzle on it otherwise if you're out in the field and you can't find a tip like this just jam a pocket knife into the end of a cap of anything and it'll make a squirt bottle so water through like that it drains out of the uh the little hole in the end there side too. So that's inconvenient but as far as you know saddlebags that come with bike specific brackets there's there's not a lot of soft bags that, that come that way. Another thing I might do is just um, take this bar here because it's way sturdier than this and I might just use this and triangulate something around here so I can make my own brackets because I, I like the bags it's just the, the mounting brackets suck. So here's the bags. Uh, the dry bags that come with it actually work pretty well. Uh, one bad thing about these is um, the padding they have on the bottom kind of uh, holds water. I get all my junk out of here. So that, that red stuff on the inside kind of holds water. Um, so you have to leave them open after it rains to dry out. Uh, this zippered portion here, you got to open that out, to, open that to expand the bag out to let that dry also. Um, this is what I was talking about with the, uh, the bolt that was my fault. Uh, just rubbed through this first layer, but it's, it's okay. Um, these pockets are holding up okay. These clips, they're, like I said, they, they suck when they get dirty, but they're holding up okay. It's not pulled off of here or anything. Uh, this bag is, I've actually dropped the bike on twice, and it didn't rip or tear or anything. You know, not a high-speed crash either time, but it's doing okay. Um, 
again the wear from my luggage rack that's my fault but uh, they they hold up pretty well uh, they just they're just a little floppy so if you do anything other than street riding or if you have rough streets they're going to bounce around and destroy those brackets so overall i'd say they're okay just okay i'm not sure they're necessarily worth the price they're charging for them and you could use this loop or you know use this to tie it on to your bike a different way they are kind of universal it's just those lower brackets that are specific so kind of nice that they're somewhat universal but also like they're a bargain product at a slightly premium price so i if i had to do it again i probably wouldn't buy them i'd just save up and get hard bags 